Hey guys, it's Ross Scott and on Space Couch State we're going to be having another look at the complete locations, this time Mustafar and the duel that Obi-Wan and Anakin slash Darth Vader have at, towards the end of that. So here we are. This is the processing facility here. I will just go to the page before and you can see that in more depth. Obviously, there's the starship, the various areas uh, where he kills the Separatist leaders and all of that. So that is just that. So back to the duel. So they meet, they battle. Uh, this is the various route that they take along here once they've come out of the processing facility. And because it's damaged, the lava fields start to erupt. Like that, that vein, I think it's that one, gets broken off and it's floating in the lava for a time, you know, when they're climbing up it and still fighting. They jump from the various uh, repulsor droids that you see floating over the lava field. This here. Then here is where Anakin leaps to Obi-Wan, who has the high ground, and he cuts him down. And this is where he leaves Anakin slash Darth Vader. This is where the Emperor lands in his shuttle to take him back to Coruscant and the med centre there to try and heal him. So what else do we have? The lava geysers erupt at points all along the river but they're repressed around the mining complex by its repulsor fields. Mustafaring architecture is based on the shape of the Kahel K fungus, a highly symbolic plant in their culture. I'll just show you that again, that's these essentially like mushrooms. Now, Sith Sanctuary, it says. With its repulsive fields offline, the mining complex where Anakin and Obi-Wan duel soon falls into ruin. But the Sith will return to Mustafar with both Darth Sidious and Darth Vader using the planet as a focus for meditation on the power of the dark side, Vader's castle that we'll see in Rogue One, of course. And in the Clone Wars, uh, Darth Sidious has a facility where he's trying to corrupt younglings who are strong in the force to the Sith ways except he gets stopped in that by Anakin and I think Kenobi um, and probably uh, Ahsoka. So Mustafar also gains an evil reputation amongst fugitive Jedi as a place where exiles from the all but extinct order are brought for interrogation, torment and death. That's obviously referenced in Star Wars Rebels that we hear um, that's where Jedi go to die and I have no doubt it will make another appearance at some point. Now, it does also describe Mustafa as a mirror of the soul. As Anakin's soul surrenders fully to the dark side, violent Mustafa seems to mirror his turmoil. Now, like Io is caught between Jupiter and the other moons of Jupiter, tugging on it, causing tidal heating, causing all of the lava eruptions, uh, Mustafa is the same that's caught between two gas giants. One of them called is Lafrani. Uh, what's the other one called? I don't know that. Jestafad, it's called. So, um, Lafrani eclipses Mustafar's sun, just as Anakin's mask of the Separatist Council eclipses the light of the Force within him. I didn't really get that sense from that when I saw Revenge of the Sith. Not like how in The Force Awakens, towards the end, the bridge scene where um, Kylo's face is half red, half blue, you could see the struggle, and when it turned all red, it was game over. Didn't get that so much from Revenge of the Sith. The violent eruptions of the lava rivers when the repulsive fields are shut down during his duel with Obi-Wan seem almost driven by Anakin's own pulsing hatred of everyone that he believes has conspired against him and thwarted his desires. Blah, 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 me, me, me. Oh, I'm such a poor little Anakin Skywalker. Ugh, so frustrating how it was portrayed to fall to the dark side. Only in the deepest core of his being does he still treasure his love for Padme for a time until in his mind he kills her in the Darth Vader comic and Anakin and Obi-Wan again. So interesting that a lot of this is reflected later on in other parts of the canon. So that is just about it. It does mention that um, Fralidaja, Fralidaja, I'm not sure, is one of the few remaining Mustafaring settlements. The local population was almost destroyed by a cataclysmic eruption centuries ago. And that is here. You do see them in the various visual dictionaries and stuff. Uh, the two different types of 
um, Mustafarians and how they've evolved to cope with that. But yes, that is just about it. Obviously, it's when the Secretary's Council are taken and are executed. And I have no doubt Mustafa will make other appearances in the canon, as I say. Please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this content. Leave me a comment or suggestion of what kind of topic you'd like to see discussed. I like the video.